This is a lion. Uh, we're going to start with uh, got a brown 160. I've blown it up about halfway. I've got a white five inch round that I've blown up to oh maybe an inch, inch and a half in diameter. And I've got two yellow 260s. One with about a four inch tail. The other has about a five inch tail. Not going to make that big difference. It's not going to use entirely all of either one. We're going to start with one of our yellow 260s. You're going to make about an inch and a half bubble. And then a little slightly smaller bubble. And then another bubble the same size as our first bubble. We're going to make a little triangle. This will be our lion's muzzle. Grab the knot, twist those together, and then tuck the knot through there to secure it in place. Then we're going to make a small round bubble. Make that into a pinch twist for our lion's nose. And then we need this very small, this is a spacer bubble, about a half inch bubble, followed by another pinch twist. Now we're going to make about a two to two and a half inch bubble, a pinch twist. I'm going to make this into an ear. Then we need a bubble slightly, slightly smaller than that one. Another pinch twist, a little small round bubble. Here. We need another bubble the same size as that one there. And we're going to twist that back into this pinch twist in the back here. This will complete his head. So we that part there. Now, with what we have left over, this is going to be a way to attach his eyes in a moment. So make you want a bubble that's going to be about half the size of that, of that gap there. So make a bubble, then we're going to make two little small pinch twists on it. And then pop this excess off, we don't need it anymore. Secure that. Now we're going to go ahead and attach his eyes. So take your 5 inch round. Put your thumb on the knot and push the knot up into the middle and divide it into two equal bubbles. That way the knot is there in the middle and not stick it out on one of the ends like it is warped on one of his eyes. Then we're going to take the five inch round and those two pinch twists that are sticking out from the back of his head. Just push that into there. Then if you'll take them from the back, just push that through so his eyes come up in the middle of his head there. And that's your lion's face minus the mane. We'll add the mane in a minute. But first, let's add a body. So take our other 260, the yellow, and this pinch twist to the back of his head, twist your nozzle under there to get started. So that's locked in good. Now we're going to make a little neck, and I'll make it just slightly shorter than this muzzle here. Make a pinch twist. Now we're going to make two legs, about two to two and a half inch bubbles. Lock them together by twisting that around it and twist. There you have his front leg. Now make a body, about a two, two and a half inch bubble body there. And then we're going to make two back legs, the same as the front legs, but before we make the back legs, make another pinch twist. And then we're going to take that pinch twist and split it. And you'll see why in a minute that'll make it do something with its tail. And now make the back legs, same size as the front legs. Now you have a little bit of an option here. You can stop there and have a single balloon body. Or if you wanted to be a little fatter lion, you can take and make another bubble to run up alongside his body. Same size as his body. Twist it into the front pinch twist. And then one more time, make one coming along back to the body. I'll squeeze the air out, make that softer. And then twist it back into that split pinch twist at the back. So you get a fatter body there. It's basically a, a three bubble bird body without having to roll through. Now we're going to pop this excess yellow off. We don't need it. Secure that excess back up in there. Now we're going to take our brown 160. We're going to give him a mane and a tail. 
So start by taking the nozzle of your 160 and twist it into that pinch twist at the base of the head. And then for a simple man, I'm just going to take and just lay it alongside the head until it comes to an ear. Twist it into that ear. Lay it along the top of his head until it comes to the next ear. Twist it into that ear. And then continue on down the other side until you get back to the bottom and twist it into that pinch twist at the base of his neck. Now, remove this excess 160, but hang on to it. You can let the air out. It doesn't need to have the air in it. Straighten his head up so you can there we go. see what we've got here. Pull his mane around. So now you can see he's starting to look more like a lion. Now we're going to take this 160. What I'm going to do, I know a lot of you don't like doing this, so you may have to find another way to do it, but this is what I do. I'll just suck a bubble on the end of this. Tie off the other end. You don't need that much excess. I'm going to trim that just a little bit. Then I'm going to take this and twist it into that split pinch twist on the back side. And the reason I split that pinch twist is now I can pull that up in between the two pinch twists if you don't lose a bubble like that. And it'll make his tail stand up like that. But this guy lost the bubble. So this tail is not going to stand up very well. You get the idea. I'm just going to turn his tail up like that. He's going to have a floppy tail. And there's your lion. A lazy lion. <laughs>